In this video, I'll show you how to create smooth freeze frame transitions in just a few minutes with no complicated steps. Today's video is sponsored by my brand new preset pack, and I'm going to show you exactly how to use it in action. So the preset pack is divided into three sections. Effects for freeze frame backgrounds, inward transitions, and outward transitions. Alright, so what we're going to do now is prepare our clips. First, we're going to create a freeze frame transition inwards. So we'll move to our second clip where we'll freeze frame Lil Dirk. Click on the little camera icon here to take a screenshot. You can rename the screenshot to whatever you like and save it to your computer. Now, head over to this website. It's not sponsored and the basic version is free. Click Upload Image, find the exported frame you just saved from Premiere Pro, and upload it. Wait a few seconds while the background is automatically removed. If you want to make any adjustments, click on Erase or Restore. That'll open up the brush tool and you can either remove parts or bring back elements as needed like you see here. Once you're happy with the result, click the arrow next to Download and choose Preview to download it for free. The HD version is paid. Now let's jump back into Premiere Pro. First, make sure your playhead is positioned right at the beginning of the second clip. That's where the transition is going to happen. Next, press Ctrl plus I to open the import window. Find the screenshot we just saved with the background removed and hit import. It'll now show up in your project panel. Drag that image down into your timeline and drop it right above the second clip. You'll probably notice that Lil Dirk looks pretty small compared to the rest of the footage. That's totally normal. Just head over to the Effect Controls panel, find the scale setting, and adjust it until the subject matches the size of your original shot. Now let's trim the screenshot layer so it's not too long. I personally think the sweet spot for freeze frame transitions is about 10 to 20 frames, so I'll trim off the beginning of the screenshot, then count forward 10 frames by holding shift and tapping the right arrow twice. That skips ahead 10 frames quickly. Then I'll cut off the rest of the image layer, so we're left with just that 10 frame portion. And since this is a freeze frame transition that moves in, we'll take that 10 frame image layer and drag it to the left, placing it right above the end of the first clip. This positioning helps create that popping, snappy transition effect, like the subject is jumping into the scene, exactly like you can see right here. Now we just need to apply the transition effect. Head over to the effects panel, search for impact freeze FX, and go into the section labeled freeze frame in. From here, simply choose the transition you want. I'm going to go with slide up from bottom. Once I hit play, you can see the transition instantly. Lil Dirk slides in from the bottom, creating a clean movement into the next scene. Now let's do the same process, but this time we'll create a freeze frame out transition. First, let's turn off the visibility of the layer we just made, so it doesn't get in the way. Just click the eye icon here. Now we'll take a screenshot of the last frame of the first clip. This is important because we want to freeze the moment before it transitions out. I already have that screenshot ready with the background removed, so I'll just drag it into the timeline. Again, I'll scale it up to match the original and trim it down to 10 frames. This time, instead of placing it over the first clip, we'll move the freeze frame to the right positioning it above the second clip. Since this is an outward transition, now we just apply the effect, but this time from the freeze frame out section. I'll pick one from the list, for example maybe a slide out. Let's turn visibility back on for everything, and now you can clearly see we have a freeze frame in followed by a freeze frame out. And what's great is that you can layer these transitions on multiple objects at once. You can stack them, offset them, or sync them with beats. With fast background removal, this whole process becomes insanely efficient. It saves a ton of time and still looks super clean. I already have the next sequence prepared, so I'll just start applying the presets directly. Quick tip to remember, freeze frame ins go to the left over the first clip. Freeze frame outs go to the right over the second clip. Easy, clean, and super fun to play around with. So here's what we've got so far, looking pretty clean, right? Of course, you can always take it a step further by adding a flash, shake, or any other effects to make it pop even more. And as promised, I'm also going to show you how to create a freeze frame directly inside Premiere Pro using the pen tool. So let's jump right into that. Alright, first I'll move this layer out of the way so it doesn't get in the way right now. My playhead is set at the very first frame of the clip, since we're making a freeze frame in transition. 
So I'll duplicate the clip, then right click on the duplicated one and select Add Frame Hold. That creates a still frame, basically a frozen version of that exact moment. This time, I want the transition to last a bit longer, so I'll count out 20 frames and delete the rest of the still frame. Now we have a clean 20 frame freeze. Next, I head over to the Effects panel, go under Opacity, and select the Pen tool. Now I'll just draw a rough mask around our subject to isolate them from the background. Once the mask is complete, you'll see we've got the subject separated with a transparent background. Now duplicate that masked layer, and on the duplicated version, go to the mask settings and check inverted. That flips the mask so we're left with just the background instead of the subject. So now we have two layers, one with just the background and one with just the subject. Let's keep things clean. Right click on the background layer, choose nest, and name it something like background so it doesn't get confusing. Do the same for the subject layer and name it subject. Now we just drag both of those nested sequences above the previous clip in the timeline. And that's it. Everything's set up. We're ready to start applying effects and building out the transition. Now all that's left is to pick the right effects from the freeze frame in and background in sections. And just like that, we're done. If you liked what you saw and want to save time on your own edits, definitely check out my preset pack. It's packed with ready-to-use transitions like these, so you can just drag, drop and go.